speaking in my official capacity as mayor, I have a message to all of you out there. Welcome to Seattle! You know, it's, it's interesting. Uh, during my campaign, somebody asked me what my position was on marijuana legalization. And what I said was that if every politician and elected official who had ever tried marijuana voted to legalize it, it would be legal in an instant. It's the truth. It is the truth, folks, that we have, we have been, as a society, very hypocritical. And Rick Steves has spoken about this, and your prior speakers have spoken about this. So we live in a very complicated world right now where attitudes are changing. And that makes it harder on, on lots of folks. It makes it harder on people that want safe access to drugs. It makes it harder, um, you know, on parents who are trying to figure out what their kids to do, to tell their kids what to do. It makes it harder on our police force too, by the way, and I'll talk about that in a second. It makes it harder, but there's a pathway here that'll make it easier. And that pathway is to recognize that prohibition as a strategy has not worked. The war on drugs has not worked. And we can do better. And we're in a time where attitudes are changing. Attitudes are changing, so we just have to keep diligently talking and explaining and, and being authentic to our friends and neighbor and our family members about this issue. And attitudes do change. And we can see attitudes change for the better. You know, on a number of topics, 20 or 30 years ago, you wouldn't even have spoken about the issue of gay marriage to anyone. And that's changed. 20 or 30 years ago, legalization seemed like distant, something way in the distance. And that's changed. Here in the city of Seattle, by popular vote, we went as far as we could go, which is that enforcement of marijuana laws for small amounts, the possession of small amounts is the lowest enforcement priority for our police. Lowest enforcement priority. But you know, on that, the people led. The people led and the politicians followed. Now, by the way, just do us a favor. Do us a favor, lowest enforcement priority does not mean legal. Make life easier for everybody, including our police officers. Don't light up in front of them. Just make life easier for everybody, please. Okay? But they take the law seriously. In the state of Washington, the people led again. And medical marijuana is legal under state law. Now those laws have changed, they've become more confusing, but the people led. And here in the city of Seattle, we're listening. And we're going to make sure that we do our best to observe that state law, uh, protect the rights of medical marijuana, legitimate medical marijuana users, to safe access to medicine. It's not happening everywhere. It's not happening in every city, but it's happening in our city. Now, the problem is, of course, that our law at the city level, the laws at the state level, all exist in a world where it is still illegal at the federal level. And we can't, we can't change that from here with our votes. But we can change more state laws. Both people have spoken to you about initiatives. You know, I mentioned to you two things. The politicians followed because the people led. The initiative here in Seattle to make it the lowest enforcement priority. Medical marijuana. You have to keep leading. You have to keep leading. And I'll do my best as an elected official to lead too. I'll do my best as an elected official to lead too. But we need you to keep leading because if we do that, we will make these laws make sense. We will make this community better. Thank you all of you for your work. Thank you. The mayor of the greatest city in the world, Mayor Mike McGinn, show some love, man.